Namaskar everyone. Welcome to my channel. So friends, today I have brought some very important and effective English words which we, which you can use in place of the simple words you usually use in your writing as well as during speaking. These words would definitely help you to improve your English and get good band score. So let's begin. The first word is some people. In place of some people, you can use certain people. Next is thinking. In place of thinking, you can use musing. Next is edge. In place of edge, you can use verge. For example, natural resources are at edge of exploitation. In place of that, you can use natural nat natural resources are at verge of exploitation. Next is fashion. In place of fashion, you can use vogue. In place of fast, you can use rapid. In place of suddenly, you can use immediately. Next is modern era. For that, you can use jet set age. Next is city. In place of city, you can use metropolis. To conclusion, conclusion or to conclude, in place of these words, you can use to recapitulate. Next is secret. In place of secret, you can use furtive. Next is habitual. In place of habitual, you can use inviterate. Next is little. You can use petty in place of that. Next is small. For small, you can use nominal. Then important. For important, you can use salient or crucial. Next is money. In place of money, you can use chalk. Next is attract. For attract, you can use lure attracting luring like this next is highest for highest you can use utmost next is beauty for beauty you can use grace in place of suitable you can use apt in place of cooking you can use culinary in place of sameness you can use monotony Sorry, the spelling of monotony will be M-O-N-O-T-O-N-Y. It is M written here, which is wrong. Sorry, sorry for that. So next one is um, interest. In place of interest, you can use penchant. Next is narrow. For that, you can use parochial. Next is negative. For negative, you can use pernicious. Next is effect. For effect, you can use sway. Next is bird. For bird, you can use aerial. Next is riddle or confusion, confusion condition or confusing statement. For that, you can use conundrum or chaos. It is C-H-A-O-S. Next is essence. In place of essence, you can use epitome. For example, the essence of the above paragraph is dash dash dash. For that, you can use the epitome of the above conversation is that like this. Next is finally. In place of finally, you can use eventually. Next is lots of. In place of lots, lots of, you can use plenty, plenteous or plethora. Next is credit. In place of credit, you can use kudos. Next is begin. In place of begin, you can use initiate. Actually, I have said the most important 30 words, but these are, I think, 33 or 34 some. So friends, uh, stay tuned with me for my upcoming videos. Till then, bye-bye.